OK, so we are going to have a look at the module information area in your module on Learning Central and how it should be populated. First things first, go into your module, make sure that you have editing switched on or you ain't going to be able to do nothing. There's a lovely double negative for you. Then go into the module information area. The first thing you should see is the module description, which should be pulled through from Sims automatically. This means you do not have to do anything. So let's scroll down to the next section and move on. Module overview. We need you to add some specific information to this, and this is how you can do it. First of all, go to the little grey arrow next to the module in overview title and then go to edit. Now you have this lovely window that you can put lots of information in. I have something I prepared earlier in uh, the best tradition of Blue Peter, so I'm going to copy and paste it into this space here, like this. And I'm just going to make sure that it has the same font size throughout and the same font throughout. And that's probably a bit big. There we go. So once you've added the information, if you wish, you can add attachments by clicking down here, browsing on your computer, picking an attachment from your computer and attaching it exactly in the same way that you would attach something to a email. And then when you're finished, go to submit. Et voila. You should now have the following information within the module overview section. You should add a timeline for the module outlining any key activities and deadlines. It doesn't have to be fancy. It can just be a Word document that you've copied and pasted. Include information regarding expectations of students and tutors, including feedback turnaround times and how cancellations or changes will be communicated. And ensure that you have a module handbook, if available, that it's included or linked to in this section, uh, alongside other information which you may have, such as sign up lists and groupings. And the best thing to do is just whack it all on a Word document, and copy and paste it into this section. So that's module overview. Let's scroll down to the final section, which is module team. Again, click onto the little grey arrow here, click onto edit. This window here opens up and yes, here's one I prepared earlier. So for the purposes of this, the module lead is Richard Burton. We have his title, we have his email address, we have his contact number and importantly, office hours. If you put office hours down here, hopefully students will see it and then we'll stick to these office hours rather than knocking on your door every two minutes. Also, ideally, you'd add a photo. Um, you don't have to. It's not mandatory. But if you are up for it, it's a good idea it adds, uh, to add a face to the name. And to do that, you just click onto this little icon here. Again, like adding an attachment to an email, you browse your computer, you find your picture. There it is. If you want to click on the appearance tab and play with the size and the position, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, stick to where you are, click on to insert, ignore this message. Your picture will be embedded along with the text that you've either typed or copied and pasted in. Again, if you want to add an attachment, you can browse your computer and add a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation or whatever, and click on Submit, and that's it. Now, hopefully, by having this information within your module, students won't be, um, for want of a better word, pestering you so much, because they'll have the information they need and they won't need to ask you for it. So with any luck, a few minutes of adding information to this section here will save you a lot of time in the long run. Here's hoping anyway.